Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson, and today we're gonna to be putting a new chain on our 2021 Kawasaki KX250X. Stick around. So some of you are probably wondering why I'm putting a new chain on a new bike. Well, this bike has three hours on it and I've already had to adjust the chain three times. I adjusted it the first time when it was brand new and then after the first ride, the chain had stretched enough, I needed to adjust it again. And then after the second ride, the chain was stretched again, I had to adjust it. It's also not an O-ring chain. On this KX uh, 250X, they did not put an O-ring chain on there, it's just a standard chain. It's not as quite as high quality as what I'm used to seeing on bikes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a DID O-ring chain on here. This is the 520VO. DID makes a bunch of chains that will work on these types of bikes. Uh, this one works for off-road racing and on-road racing. The main thing is though that it's an O-ring chain, so it's a sealed chain. So we don't need to use so much lube. Not a big fan of uh, chain lube because you just flip it all over everything. But with a standard chain like this, you have to have some chain lube on here, but I'm just tired of it stretching. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a decent chain on the bike. So the first step is gonna to be to remove our master link. Now I'm using these tusk pliers. I, buy, I bought the chain and the, the pliers many, many years ago uh, on Rocky Mountain ATV. It's where I get all my stuff. If you, if you wanna support me, use the links down in the video description to buy this stuff. These master link pliers just have one of the kind of the teeth shaved off so it makes it easier for you to do some of this stuff. So these tools, this tool is not expensive, but it does make it much easier if I can do this on camera much easier to get some of these things apart and it's hard because my there we go so now that's that's going to pop right off slide this it's already kind of off if i can get that to come the rest of the way grab a screwdriver here to help continue that to come off there we go there's our master link uh, clip and then we should just be able to push our master link out. Now, I'm gonna actually do kind of a cool trick here. So I'm going to roll this backwards just a little bit. And I'm gonna use my old chain to pull my new chain on. Grab our chain here. Make sure there's nothing left in the box. Money, yeah, look at that baby. And a nice new master link set here. Let's take just a second to take a look at the differences in the chains. The chain, if I can hold these right, the chain on the left hand side of the screen is the stock chain, it has no O-rings. And then the chain on the right side is the O-ring chain here. And you can see there's these little O-rings down inside here and it's sealed off. So they seal off the chain with those O-rings and it just makes for a much better system than the one that's here on, on the left. So this chain on the right is gonna be stronger and then the O-rings will keep it basically, you don't need to apply nearly as much chain lube, if any chain lube at all. I'll tell you a secret, I don't, I don't actually apply chain lube to my O-ring chains, I just get them clean and dry and uh, that's what I do. So this will be fun to put this on. So the idea is I can use my old chain to pull my new chain up and around the front sprocket up here and bring it down all the way back easily just by clipping onto it, watch. When I said clean and dry, sometimes I'll put some WD-40 on there, but that just really helps to disperse the water. So now here's my old chain here on the left. Here's my new chain here on the right. I'm just gonna use my old master link because I haven't gotten my new master link out yet, but I'm gonna stick my old master link right through here, if I can get that to go. And then I'm just going to pull, I'm just gonna pull my chain. Here I'm pulling on the bottom. Here, here's the tail of, the, here's the, tail of the, the old chain. I'm just gonna pull on that. So I'll pull on the, the bottom chain like this and just pull, it pulls my chain around and it goes, it's gonna go right up through the front sprocket. Let me see if I can show you that. So here's my joint right here, and I'm just gonna pull on the bottom chain, the old chain, and it will pull everything right through and around that sprocket and down through the other side. Just really helps you to, to route this easily. Just continue pulling this around here slowly. And here's my master link now down here. Make sure this stuff all stays good. And now we're around. And so I'm just gonna pull this old master link out. And there we go. Now I'm gonna stretch this so it's on the right teeth. 
and here we are. Now we can just apply our master link right here and we'll be well on our way. Let's open up our master link here and see what we've got inside. So inside here, we've got our master link and then our clip. We've also got some grease and then here are our O-rings. We've got to assemble this thing and I have an extremely scientific way of doing this, which is just to uh, rub grease on my master link, get it greased up really well. So I'll grease both sides of those posts. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to take an O-ring and put it on both sides like this. Okay. Good. And then once we put, once we put this on the chain, we're going to put these two other O-rings on the other side. First, I'm going to get even a more scientific amount of grease on this master link right here to keep everything nice and greasy, just how we like it. Now we'll go down to the bike. Now, fortunately, since I ordered the right size chain off Rocky Mountain ATV, I'm not going to have to cut any links out of this. I don't need to add any links. Um, I will have to adjust the tension here using my chain block adjusters, but now I've got my, my master link here, which has my pre-installed O-rings on the back. I'm just going to slip this through here like that. And then I'm going to take my O-rings for the front side slip those on here like so and it probably helps if you've got a little bit of grease on here to keep these things on but we want to make sure they just stay in the right spot here then i'm going to put my face plate on really carefully if i can get those o-rings to stay the face plate is going to really help. Yeah, that'll, that really helps to keep the, um, to, to keep those O-rings kind of in the right place. And it looks like I'm going to have to press this one just a little bit here. Sometimes you'll have to press your chain together. And that's what this little tool is. Very inexpensive tool. I also bought this from Rocky Mountain ATV years ago, and this will help us to press this master link all the way through. Okay. Now that I've got my chain press tool, I'll, situated here with my o-rings on and my face plate on the front of the chain on then i'll just go ahead and twist this center one and i gotta turn it over twist it like that and it'll just press those things right together and that's all it takes now that thing hopefully that was in the frame yeah now my uh um master link is pressed together and ready for the clip on the front if you just loosen one side, and this goes on the same way, if you just take the pressure off all this stuff. Oh, so close. Just an update, I was having trouble getting the clip on, so I actually turned my tool around this back plate of this tool press the chain together a little bit tighter here and that should help me get that clip on oh yeah that's a much better lip to work on so then we'll get our clip here should stay in the groove a lot easier now see if i can get that one to work there we go boom clipped on just needed to get my master link pressed together a little bit tighter so that i had better actuation on the little uh, grooves for that on the front side Fantastic. Now we've got our new chain installed right here. New O-ring chain, beautiful chain that will, won't stretch nearly as much and won't need nearly as much maintenance. Okay, so now I've got my new O-ring chain installed. Looks like I'm a little bit loose, so I'm gonna go through and adjust that here with my axle block adjusters. Um, you wanna check your manual for this and you also wanna keep the, the axle in alignment. You can do that with some calipers or some other tools, but I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this just a touch and get this thing ready to roll. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you got some good out of it. Uh, if you want to support me, you can use the links down in the video description to Rocky Mountain ATV, Motorsport, Amazon. I have links over on my website, dirtbikechannel.com, um, and uh, they, that would help to support me. Looks like this glove has seen better days. But I think that's what I've got for you today. I'm excited to get back out on this uh, Kawasaki. It's been a fun bike to ride so far in the first three hours and this is just gonna make the bike even that much better. Uh, after the last ride, the thing was really chain slapping a lot. In fact, my boys even noticed, they're like, dad, your chain's pretty loose. And I'm like, again, 
So that should uh, take care of that one. So hopefully you guys have a good day and uh, that's it. So leave a single track. Thanks.